IAA and by the National Union of Mine Workers, members in the construction sector as well. In the motor industry, National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa, their members were discussing a new pay offer but said their strike would continue. Now to find out how these strikes are affecting the country's economy, we are joined by Michael Bagram who is a labor analyst. He's uh, joining us from our, our rainy Cape, uh, Cape Town studios. Uh, he's in the Seapoint area. Good to have you, Michael. Welcome to Morning Live. Hi, good morning, Leanne. Thank you for having me on once again. I yeah. appreciate it. Well, Michael, I, 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 I can imagine that these strikes are having a devastating effect on our economy. Can you give us an idea or a, or a sense of how it is actually damaging our economy? Yeah, Leanne, what's happened is we've never seen anything like this. It's a perfect storm. Uh, we are certainly experiencing winter here in Cape Town, but the country, South Africa, is experiencing a winter of discontent. What, what we're seeing is the strikes are breaking out in every single sector, mm. from small business to large business. You might have just heard the earlier discussions about the gold mines. And of course, that's the pinnacle of the striking problems that we're experiencing in this country. But every time we have a strike, it doesn't matter what industry it is, it affects that particular industry. And in turn, it affects South Africa because we're not earning the income tax from the workers that, that should be earning the money. The employers are certainly not making any profits. And in turn, the workers themselves don't earn while they're on strike. Mm. Even if you do get an increase, and even if you get a double-digit increase in due course, you miss a month's wages, it'll take you three, four years to catch it up. Yeah. We can't afford it here in South Africa. It is going to be devastating when our Minister of Finance gives his uh, budget speech. Um, and we saw last year that with the Marikana disaster, we already lost five billion rands worth of income. And Minister Pravin Gordon said that we can't afford this. Yeah. We're getting the same message from our Reserve Bank, um, where we heard that the strikes and the downing of tools has affected South Africa as a whole, yeah. both you and I. Yeah. Um, we, we can't afford this any longer, in, including the fact that the world's economy is suffering and we're just not getting the foreign income into South Africa. Yeah, certainly um, not. We need to take it more seriously. Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, with the world watching, it's, it's not, we, we're, not, um, we're not projecting the best of images at this point in time. Michael, you know, what is very concerning, however, is the discrepancy between what, um, what companies are actually offer, offering and what unions are demanding. The gap between them is, is so frightening these days. You know, it's, a, it's, it's, not, it's not just a couple of percentage points. I mean, now it, it's, the gap is so big that it almost looks like a resolution is sometimes impossible these days. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And especially the ludicrous demands that we're seeing coming from the mines, where people are asking for, I think, Amku asked for a 150% yeah. increase. Um, you know, I've been doing this strike action um, and defending employers from that angle uh, for the last 25 years. And I must tell you, in the past, when we had a demand for, say, 7% and an offer of 5%, we would be Solomonic and say, let's cut it down the middle and take 6%. Yeah. But now what we're seeing across the board, and you're absolutely correct, are these demands which are absolutely outlandish, mm. where people look at it and say, well, I don't even understand where it comes from. That truly is epitome of negotiating in bad faith. Um, employers are saying, well, there's nothing, we, we can't even move. Um, it doesn't, it's ludicrous to say, well, we can afford 6%. Let's try and move to 7% when someone's asking for 150%. Mm. Um, people are sitting back and laughing. Well, it's not a laughing matter. We are in South Africa suffering from the worst it's ever been. And I think um, our government needs to do more. I think the authorities the Department of Labor needs to put more effort into this. There can be nothing worse than these massive strikes that we're experiencing. We're on the cusp now of just about experiencing a massive strike in the clothing and textile industry here in the Cape, and that'll destroy industry altogether. The industry has been on a downward curve. You now have the strike. No one is going to say, let's manufacture a pair of jeans here under the shadow of Table Mountain. All right, Michael, I have to leave it there, but I think you've given us a good indication of how uh, dramatic the situation is when it comes to the strike action here in South Africa. Michael Bagram, who is a Labour analyst, joining us from our Seapoint Studios, thank you very much for talking to us here on Morning Live.